And tonight for the hour, we have assembled some of the brightest minds of business, industry and beyond as we focus how the Obama administration's agenda has shaped our economy over the past three years. In particular, the special edition of Hannity will focus on the issue of gas prices and how rising costs have and will continue to hurt your family. Now, fast forward only a few years under this president and Americans are paying more than four dollars a gallon. Just a few steps from the White House. Joining me tonight to explain how we got where we are today is a very special audience. It is comprised of energy executives, business leaders, small business owners, experts alike, and many of the faces you will recognize, and uh, some of the best, brightest, smartest, richest in America. The top 1% is right here. Good to see you all. Thanks for being with us. It's true. We, everything we buy is impacted by this. Tell us about your business. I'm an American manufacturer of food service equipment and, um, and appliances. And I started as an Asian manufacturer. And I've come back home because it's, you know, uh, doing business in America really makes sense. And this phenomenon of backshoring is, is there. And we could take advantage of this. There are literally some of our best job creators, uh, such as myself, have gone overseas. They've been pushed overseas. And they're waiting to come back home. You know, I discovered in Asia that the cost of doing business, corruption, poverty, Poverty, the rape of our planet, the labor rights, human rights, the rising costs of labor. It, it, it just, I added it up and it just didn't make sense anymore. So but, I But came I got to tell home. you, but a lot of people are looking at the regulations in this country and, and they're right. saying, I'm going to send this. It's, it's financially viable. I can get something for $2.50 uh, per Sean, unit made over in China and I can sell it here for $50 and I'm rich. But Sean, th those, those calculations aren't quite accurate anymore. And if we just had a government and a president that could connect with these people, Americans, some of our best job creators who want to come home like myself, and if we would send a message to them that yeah. taxes and health care and regulations them. that you yeah, just I mentioned, you. you know, the $1.7 trillion. We can get thing, them back. We can get them back. And, this, and, and we would have more manufacturing jobs in this country than we can fulfill. You know, and I know that to be true because I'm doing it. We just have to mm -hmm. reach these people who want to come home, send them the message. It starts with a vision. The next president of the United States must have a vision to bring them back home. And we will solve this you, economic you know problem. And there's one factor in that involved in that equation as well. They're patriotic Americans. They are. That would they be, love this country. Nothing would make Experts them happier I've met than to have their in business Indonesia, in Ohio or Michigan Thailand. or they in the heartland this of this country. Next month, the United States yeah. in April. Yeah. Great, great yeah. group of people. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. We really appreciate it. And that is all the time we have left this evening. As always, thank you for being with us. This special edition of Hannity. And we will see you next time. Thanks for being here.